to stay on the same page as it affects uh, our league. Earlier before now, in your program, you mentioned the Honorable Minister sitting with the NFF and Keshi on a round table on the way forward. So we will also appreciate the Honorable Minister to intervene, bring in the NFF, bring in the LMC, bring in the club owners, so that we can sit on a round table and thrash out those grey areas. Those grey areas are very important for us to move forward. We should not be, nobody should bring uh, sugar and put on our mouth because you are pressuring that money. And let me also tell you, we are not, they are just celebrating tokenness. Before now, there has been an existing uh, contract agree, uh, negotiation that, uh, that was up to 750 million naira per season. And now you are talking about 500 million and uh, you are celebrating it. It's like celebrating tokenness. If they had carried the club on us alone, maybe we would have been negotiating something better than this. And global people are aware of what I'm saying. Well, hello, if you can make a um obviously we will still need to talk more uh, about all of these issues but we want to thank you so much for joining us even at short notice and um our own submission from this end um is what we've always said that um lmc club owners nff national sports commission everybody will need to sit down um so that we don't keep reporting um crises let's move on for once i'm sure Alo, you, you, you agree with me yes i will agree with you uh, it's only the round table that can solve the situation, and they will believe strongly that they are locked, just like the NFF did in the first time. But it was the NMC that you are using the word irrevocable. How can you be saying irrevocable in an issue that you are just uh, an employee, not an employer? We are the employers of LMC, and they are our employees, and they should respect our opinion, not telling us that certain areas are irrevocable. Locks will not accept that, and we will continue not to accept that until the things are done right. But, well, the good news, Alo, is that this has not affected football on the pitch. And um, I hope it will not affect football on the pitch, at least while negotiations are going on. Yes, we all resolved. All the parties agreed that uh, the biggest beneficiary of our meeting we had with the NFF is the league itself. So we agreed that the league should continue. Uh, no thing should hurt the league. But while the league is going on, the negotiation will be side by side. And I strongly believe that if we have a roundtable discussion that everybody is ready to make sacrifice, not mentioning we are uh, using the word irrevocable, like uh, Ndoka used in the last meeting we had. How can you be mentioning irrevocable? Like, that was what annoyed the clubs. So I think we all, all agree to move forward, and uh, I'm assuring you that uh, as soon as we have a roundtable discussion in less than a few days from now, everything will be resolved to the best interest of Nigerian football. But one last question, um, Alloy, because this is of interest to me. Um, a deal has been signed with the title rights sponsors. We expect to see their billboards at uh, the venues. If the club owners are insisting that they don't, um, are not party to what the league management company have brokered for them, um, how does uh, the sponsor get the mileage in terms of the billboards and all of that? Um, are you going to maintain status quo while that discussion is on, or you shut out those billboards and uh, you just play the way things are at the moment? In fact, about two hours ago, the leadership of the Global Owners met. We discussed uh, through consultation, and we have ordered all the clubs that nobody should allow lead management to company billboard or any of their sponsors that we are not aware to put any billboard or pitch panel at their match venue, and all the clubs are ready to stand by that directive until we meet at the round table and things are sorted out. And is that starting from week 10? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much, Aloy Chukwemeka, Secretary of Club Owners, for speaking to us on sports tonight. Clearly, clearly, um, it's still a long road, long road to lasting peace uh, on the domestic scene. Let's go for a break, about a minute, so that we can catch our breath. Uh, we'll come back and uh, take a look at all of these issues um, on sports tonight. Join us again. If your life has just got easier, you stay connected to Channel TV, where news and innovations are shaping our world. Simply log on to ChannelTV.com to get the breaking news. Browse the homepage according to what matters to you. Tap on the extended coverage of business, sport, politics, lifestyle, infotech, entertainment, health, world news, and lots more. Click on the live link and see the news in real time. Do you want to watch the latest video of the day? It's just a click away. Friend us on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on Twitter, Google+, 
participate in Channel TV polls and share your comments. It's a website you can talk to. Your voice will be heard. ChannelsTV.com. The news at your fingertips. Okay, thank you for staying with us. We just spoke to the secretary of the club owners, Alo Chukwemeka, general manager of Abaka Bukola Taraki. Interestingly, uh, one of the only two privately run clubs in the Nigerian Professional uh, Football League. And um, today looks like we have a long road, long road to peace. But let's allow you to talk to us um, on uh, Sports Tonight via feedback. Make use of our feedback mechanism that you are seeing on your screen, on Facebook. Um, today we'll be running through that for us in the next couple of minutes. And of course on Twitter, a whole lot of handles on your screen at Channel Sports at um, Tony Bitu. That's my handle at Mitchell Konsa. That's uh, Doom Nodi who is producing us now. And uh, today at um, Red Carnival. Uh, Red Carnival. Red. R E D D. R E D D and Carnival. R E D D and Carnival. Okay, so you can add Tunde to it. Tunde Koiki is the handle to it at um, Red Carnival. Red R E D D. Then Carnival. All right, but we'll t take your opinion as we go on uh, on sports tonight. Today, um, let's look at the fixtures for MPFL with 10. Well, football on the pitch will go on. That's what the club owners are saying. Uh, but maybe without those billboards anymore. And for me, it's even more um, <laughs> confusing because that's what football is about, the billboards and everything. But let's look, look, look at the fixtures for the games to be played midweek, midweek matches. And then as we talk along, we will reflect on all of those things. Tomorrow in Ibadan, 3 years will be taken on Sunshine. What a game this will be. It's a game of the stars. Mm. Shooting stars, Sunshine stars. Which star will shine the brighter? What do you expect the shooting stars if they are shooting? Mm. Shoot. And they can shoot up to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good game to watch tomorrow. Aim for the sun and... Oh, what a game this will mm. be. What a game this will be mm. in Ibadan. Aqua United against Sharks of Paracos in Uyo. Bayelsa United against Atlanta of Oweri um, in Yenegoa as well. Wiki Solid against Rangers will be played on Friday. Rangers came back to the country today from Angola and they've been given 48 hours to travel, rest and travel, which I think is fantastic from uh, the competition department of uh, the professional league. So that game will be played on Friday. That's uh, Rangers uh, in, in that one. We have Pillars against Nasarawa um, in Kanu. Lobi against Eniba in uh, Katsinala. Dolphins against Nembe in Portacot. Gombe will be taking on Wari Wolves um, in Gombe. And then we have uh, Kuala United against Kaduna United. El Kanemi against Aobaka Bukola Taraki will be played on Thursday. We were told that uh, ABS got involved in a minor road accident. No, 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 no. Uh, and where they were on their way to Meduguri, so they've been given 24 hours. That game will be played on Thursday. Today, very quickly. Football on the pitch is going on, but... Uh, just going on. Just barely going on. Going on for the sake of going on. Mm. And, and, and that's the painful mm. part. It's, it's mm. as if, you know your car doesn't have brakes. There's no water in the radiator. But you're just moving it. Uh, the, the seats are not good. Uh, there's the, the fuel tank is faulty. Basic understanding is not going on. It's not there. It's, it's not there. And I think at every point in time, the, league owner, the, the club owners or club managers have consistently maintained that they want dialogue. That they are willing to talk about they said they issues. are not against the reforms. They are not against reforms. But they are against some procedures. The, exactly. The use of certain words, the way they've been addressed, the way that the contracts have been done. Is it just about the way they've been addressed or some certain procedures and some certain... Look, wait. Um, Tony, actions. Hold on. There's, hmm. there's, there's a proverb that says that no matter the size of the, of the beard of the workman, the, whoever pays him, he still is a guy. So who, no matter who he, uh, is, is in charge of the LMC or is in the board of the LMC, the truth, the very truth is that those people are there at the instance, should be there at the instance of the club owners. So if they must, well, the people in the LMC must pander to the wishes and the whims of, mm. of the club owners within, no, no. within reason, within reason. If these issues are unreasonable and unworkable, then there will be cause for conflict. But so far... These men have said that they are willing to talk about these issues, the ones that they find, um, that, that they find distasteful and willing to look for a way out. And I think all parties should be willing to, to get involved in this. And it is, it is particularly um, instructive that when that, league, uh, when that management contract, that uh, sponsorship contract was signed, there was no club present. 
You saw the picture. We saw... Um, the LMC 